Well, it's been many months where this deal has been on the table. Of course, the two rubbish uh, compactors are looking to get this deal done after it was proposed last October, but it's been wrapped up in lots of controversy, and it really seems like every time they move towards getting the deal done, there is another setback. What we are waiting for today is the approval, of course, from the European Commission antitrust body. Regulators say that these are two big rubbish collectors and they will potentially be able to dominate the market. There are questions over antitrust abilities here. This, of course, comes after they cleared another hurdle just a few months ago, which was French authorities who were worried that they would put employment at risk. It would complicate the interests of the French state, which owned a share in one of the smaller companies uh, of Suez. There's a lot of drama wrapped up in this, but really, finally, it does seem that at least according to Reuters reporting, there is an end in sight. We are expecting them to render a positive decision by the end of the day. The deadline is midnight here in Europe. But, Juliet, there has been so much here, lots of bitter rhetoric between the two sides, legal tussles with minor lawsuits uh, filed at every single incident that they could. Eventually, in April, there was a bit of deal-making by the French finance minister, Bruno Le Maire, who was able to get the two sides to come to the table and see a common agreement. That, of course, also included a much higher share price to be included in the sale. But it is finally set, the deal is done, and the two sides say they're looking forward to working together, though they will have to spin off a number of assets, not just here in Europe, but also many, many abroad. Ryan, it's gone right to the wire. Uh, assuming it all goes through, through the regulators, what, what's it going to mean? Well, it means that you're looking at one of the world's largest waste and water collectors, so they will certainly be able to enter foreign markets with this degree of dominance, because not only are they big here in Belgium and in France, but they have a number of assets spread out across Europe. So they're basically going to have to spin off some of their properties and projects that are in other corners of the world, but that's not to say that they will be eventually looking to pick those back up again or potentially get involved in new investments. There are also questions here about what they mean for competitors, notably competitors in China, who have similar dominance and similar expertise in this field. Uh, they will surely be going bat to bat. This new uh, partnership and this new brand will bring a little bit of competition to the field for these Chinese providers, and they will have a new, uh, new edge in the competition fight here.